Part two of our lesson, uh, we just completed the uh, edge extrusion modeling using reference photos. We have those hidden now, so we don't need them. So for this part two, we will uh, add some modifiers and we're gonna try and keep it non-destructive at this point, so. All right, so first things first is maybe I want to right click and shade smooth this, okay? And there's some other issues right here where it's probably not uh, uh, all the way to the uh, center line here. So I, what I'll do is uh, leave that on the um, side right here. I'll go to the front, I have clipping on, and I'm just going to try and move this along the x-axis right here one more time and confirm that and let's take a look okay so that's all gone so clipping basically made sure that those things are attached not attached but they're on the uh, straight line right here dead center okay so now we're going to add some thickness to this so i'm going to add a uh, modifier on top of the mirror called solidify okay all right actually it's below uh because we want the mirror on top that keeps it symmetrized okay so let's go to uh, wireframe mode here so you could see what solidify did i'm going to turn this off actually uh, i'm just going to create the uh, add more amount right here so the more you add here the it's basically just giving it a, a three-dimensional instead of a flat paper thin model okay so let me uh go to uh, solid mode here so you can see all right i'm also going to go with even thickness right there and uh, so that should be fine right there okay all right so next is we want to apply a uh, subdivision surface subdivision surface increases the uh, the polygon uh, count on this one and um, gives it this kind of very smooth look by increasing polygons so I'm actually gonna do the viewport 2x2 two two so it matches our render so this should be our final model look for our um, cat uh, mask and um, we can start kind of painting it all right so Kind of one last rotation here all right um, if let's say we want this uh, as is you know um, and we are done basically with modeling we can start applying some of these modifiers here such as mirror so once I hit apply right here uh, this is no longer one-sided where you would work with one and uh, the other one would kind of follow here okay so it's now a solid object in a way or the two sides have been merged together okay solidify if i click apply on solidify it simply um, creates that uh, dual kind of layer thickness to this object and makes it kind of uh, permanent okay same thing with um, uh, subdivision surface so if there's one modifier that you probably don't want to apply would be subdivision surface because you can always um, uh, increase your uh, geometry your polygon count but it's much harder to decrease them and keep it uh, keep the topology the same so if I click apply on solidify here uh, keep in mind here if I go edit mode you could see that it's still kind of one-sided but when I hit apply on solidify, you have to be in object mode. And I'm gonna go edit mode. So you can see here, that's all um, two-sided now, there's thickness. And then of course subdivision surface, I'm gonna turn it off temporarily. That's what it looks like before and after. So this is something that you probably wanna keep um, non-applied, okay? But, however, we're still painting this at uh, non-destructive, so I'm going to click Undo. Command Z multiple times here until I get my mirror back so that, you know, any minor changes I might want to do 
it will still be available. All right, so that ends part two. Now we're going to go to part three where we're going to do UV editing and texture painting.